One unique and often overlooked aspect of a mobile DJ or gigging band's light show is the centerpiece light. This is often a one-off fixture that adds a bit of variety and intrigue to an otherwise run-of-the-mill light show. What I have in this box right here that says stage light, kind of generic, is a really cool moving head from a company called B-Topper. I've never had a light like this on the channel before, but I think it's definitely worth taking a look at and checking out for yourself. I'm gonna unbox it and show it to you right now. What's up everybody, welcome to the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, if you're new here, thank you for joining me. If you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. Like I mentioned on the table, I have a B-topper, triangular shaped moving head. Some call them the spider, some have other names for them. It doesn't really have a model name that I can see, but it's really, really awesome. And I've took some footage of me using this in action. I'm also gonna show you what comes in the box, talk about the important features of the light, and let you know whether or not I think it's worth picking up for yourself. Before I dive into that though, make sure that you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any content coming in the future. Let's dive into it. So first things first on this channel, I like to do a good unboxing. So we're gonna see what's inside this generic stage light box. On top, you're going to get your warranty card as well as a product user manual. And then the light itself is gonna be covered with a nice bit of foam right here. Now, if I tip this up so you can see, that is how the light comes packaged to you in the box. Uh, we're gonna talk about the construction once I get this out, but the first thing that I noticed when I picked it up and took it out of the box for the first time is that it is quite hefty. It's well-made, metal, some plastic, which pretty much all lights have now, but a large uh, part of this light is made of sturdy metal, okay? Now also in the box, besides the light itself, you're going to get the uh, full user manual right here. You're going to get a nice thick IEC power cable, not too long, maybe five or six feet, uh, but pretty standard. And then you're also going to get your mounting bracket. Now this is not a quick attach Omega clamp. You've got your standard uh, little uh, bolts right here that you have to screw in with an Allen wrench. And curiously, there's not an Allen wrench included that I could find, so you're gonna have to have one on hand, which you should anyway, I think, in your tool bag. Now, we'll put this piece of foam off to the side. This is the light itself. It's pretty easy to hold because it's got some built-in handles right here, which makes rigging this up a breeze. It's very nice to have, if you've got this on some truss overhead, you need to hold it up. Having those handles makes handling the light a lot easier. You don't have to put a lot of tension on the head itself. I mentioned that we've got a lot of uh, metal across the design right here, especially on the bottom of the body, uh, on some of these pieces, the points here of the moving head itself. These are freely swiveling. They've got, oh gosh, probably 90 degrees of action there, maybe like 110 on the three heads. There's three LED diodes per head. Each of these is RGBW, red, green, blue, white, and it is 10 watts a piece. So overall, 90 watts of LED output. Because of how tight the beams are, which you're gonna see in a bit, the power on this guy is quite potent. Can shoot across a gym, no sweat, plenty of output for the standard indoor gig. Now, one thing that I failed to mention so far is that in the center of this light, you'll notice the little laser icon right there, and that's because there are two small laser apertures right here that do a sort of star field effect. There's a couple different patterns that it will produce. I honestly might even just tape over these with electrical tape. If you like the laser effect, more power to you, but I'm all about the beams, and that's where this light really shines. Now, this has continuous rotation. It can go infinitely in either direction, which is really awesome. A lot of lights don't have that, and it makes for some really cool effects. On the bottom, you've got four feet, and you've got the area where you'll mount your bracket right there. Standard uh, LED screen on the front there. That's where you're gonna access all the different menus. This has standalone auto mode. It has sound active mode. It has master slave mode, and of course DMX, a 15 channel and a 51 channel or 50 something channel. So you can get granular control over the red, green, blue, white dimmer for each of the individual diodes if you wanna get that deep into it or you can take a lighter approach and use some of the built-in programs. Now, the programs that are built in, there's five, zero through four. They're quite nice. The auto modes are just gonna go at a speed that you set predetermined. You can do a nice slow rotation, uh, and they range from only beams, beams and laser, like all beams on at once, individual beams kind of rotating around. Good amount of variety. 
The sound active is the same, and the sound active sensitivity can be adjusted. I'm happy to report that unlike some lights, when you bring the sensitivity down to a, you know, out of out of 100 or out of 50, if you bring it down to like 10, pretty low, it responds quite well to a loud PA system and is actually usable sound active mode, which you don't get to see a lot these days. Let me plug it in and show you that menu. All right, so I just plugged the light in. It's going through the reset procedure right now, just aligning all the heads. It's gonna do full pans, full tilts of everything. And now the light is going, and you're gonna see some video of this in action right now, but I just wanted you to see, it's on auto right now, you can see I've got it at a speed, and you can adjust the different speeds. For example, let's say we want auto two, right? We can go here and adjust the speed. I have it on 502, if I go up, let's see. There's five, so 500 zero is like your stationary, or the slowest, and then everyone that goes up after that is faster and faster, okay? Um, you can also adjust, let's see here, jump back out of there. Uh, auto one, speed, uh, and so really with the autos, all you have control wise is speed. Now if we click the menu button on the far left, we can go over to sound, again, we have our different sound active modes. Now the problem with these four button menus is that it is kind of hard to navigate. There we go, so sound active. If I hit enter on sound active, here are our uh, five sound active modes, and then you have the sensitivity adjustment right there, and whether or not the sensitivity is on or off. And again, lock it in with the enter button. Now it's kind of go crazy now, because I've got it on sound. Uh, we can also jump, there's your master slave mode, there's your channel mode, so you've got your DMX channel 19, 51, and 19, so those are your two options. Uh, channel mode, your DMX address of course, you can reverse the pan, reverse the tilt if you've got multiple of these going at once, uh, and then you can reset the fixture completely, you've got your display orientation, you can run a test program for the light, your version, uh, and pretty much that's gonna be all of your important settings. Now let me overlay some footage with a little bit of fog that I had in the room. Now in my opinion, a bit of atmosphere like this is gonna make all the difference for this light. When you can see those sharp, crisp, tight beams, it really is a wow factor, especially when they're panning in and out, they're crisscrossing, and they're doing those complete unending circles one way or the other. It's a really, really great effect. I posted this on my social media and got multiple comments about what is that light? I need to add one of those to my collection because it really is something you don't see very often. We all see moving heads and moving beams, but to get nine beams moving in and out, rotating, it's a very awesome effect. Now without fog, the, the dots, like I said, are very bright and very sharp and they'll definitely add some action to your dance floor, but if you can use this in a venue with haze, it's gonna make all the difference. I run through a variety of different modes here, the sound active, the DMX, kind of from the front, from the back. You can also see the laser. Again, I'm not huge on the laser. I would cover it up with tape or find a way to turn it off with DMX, but you can definitely have this as like a dual purpose light and if you turn one off, the laser, and then turn the lights on and turn the laser off, you can kind of use this uh, as two lights in one show, which is very handy. Overall though, the effect is very unique. It's very powerful for the price and for the size, and I'm really happy to have this in my collection. I'm gonna kind of swap this in and out with my Eliminator uh, Vortex that I use as a centerpiece. I think this is a, a worthy contender and definitely in the running for one of my uh, favorite centerpiece lights that I've ever seen. So if you wanna read more about this, I'll include a link down in the description. You can go buy through there, support the channel. I would of course love you for it. If you're not picking one of these up today, that's totally okay. I'd love to have you as a subscriber so that you don't miss any future videos. Go ahead, ring the notification bell as well. And uh, like the video, leave a comment. Do you have a centerpiece light that you like? Have you used uh, something like this that's the triangular multi-moving head? Have you used the uh, Eliminator Vortex like I've used? Or is there another one that you prefer to have in your lighting arsenal? That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.